the Premier League, the holy grail of English football, the grand stage where dreams can be made and also shattered. In the opening season of the Premier League, there were 22 teams that started this brand new era of English football, and Blackburn Rovers were one of them. Now, fast forward 25 years and we've just been promoted from the third tier of English football. After years of turmoil, Rovers have finally turned a massive corner as they try to get themselves back to the promised land. But wait! Venkis, the balmy owners who have caused chaos since their arrival, have yet made another bonkers move by replacing crowd favourite Tony Mowbray with this haphazard clown as manager. Can this rookie steer Rovers to the great beyond? Or will his lack of knowledge and experience track Rovers to football obscurity once again? Now with this clown in charge, there'll be tears, laughter, and of course, plenty of drama. Join me as we try to make Blackburn Rovers great again. Hello folks, welcome back to yet another episode of my Football Manager 2019 series called Make Rovers Great Again. And since you have been gone... What has been going on? We took on Spurs Man City, so we took on uh, Cardiff, uh, the Premier League, and we won 3-2. Very, very, very oh, dodgy game, this one. Rovers were 2-0 down on this one, and down to 10 men before we managed to turn it all around. Uh, this is their second goal, Simpson. I think Cox got the first one, Simpson with the second. Uh, and then we started our comeback, uh, Lewis Coure getting two goals. That's his first long-range effort. To make it a little interesting, then we had a man sent off, so we had to do it the hard way. Uh, Lewis Coure getting the second, and then I threw everything out of the kitchen sink uh, to get the winner. Petuccio making the cross, and Lewis Gunn with the valuable, valuable third goal uh, to keep us uh, top. I think I think we're top. Uh, and then we took on Oldham at Ewood, and another a game that had everything: uh, five goals, three two winners. First major talking point was uh, Morapel, South African fellow got sent off and uh, ultimately with a penalty. Uh, we then restored it with Everson, who's returned on uh, from loan, a uh, young Brazilian striker, made it 1-0. Uh, and then Isanoff made it 2-1 um, on the day. However, Oldham were thinking about possibly making this into a replay. Uh, they also had two men sent off towards the back end of this. Uh, and the winner came in courtesy of Maitland-Niles, pure star, pure class. And that is 3-2. And as you can see the stats here, uh, they had a man sent off right at the end there and won around just before half time. So we, we clawed our way back into it. Uh, in this episode, my friends, we are taking on Southampton in the Carabao Cup semi-final first leg. And then we take on Manchester United at Ewood Park to see what we can do. Yes, we, we've had a few returnees. Um... I'll talk about them in a second. But uh, yeah, up against Southampton. Uh, we've played each other 12, uh, what is it, 12, 15, 17 times, won nine of them. They won three, drawn five between us now. Uh, we are in one semi final, in the others, Man City and Everton. Just speaking of uh, this, just bring my attention. We have been drawn against Liverpool in the FA Cup fourth round at home. So consider our FA Cup run coming to an end. Uh, we are playing a little reserved in this one. Uh, I think I'm going to go with this line of Raya, Petuccia, Chave, Gasic, Palomino, Apazo, Torreira. Everaldo's come back into the squad. Garcia, Armstrong and Rollhauser up top. Now, Everaldo has been with us for a little bit, if I can if I can select him. Um, yeah, he's been with us for a little bit. Uh, he went on loan for a couple seasons. Um, he can play all over the place, uh, defense mid, mid, and attacking mid. So anywhere, a lot, anywhere you like. Um, so he's going to come in to support Torreira in the middle of the park. Um, what else have I got? Any exciting options from the bench? Where's Everalson? This fella, he needs to be in the mix. Uh, flinch at Miranda. Yeah, we'll drop Miranda down a little bit. Who else? Yabre. I've, I've upset him a little bit because of, um, I can't, there's, there's, there's not much room in the squad. So, anyway, <coughs> we'll throw Yabre on on the bench. Uh, going a little bit defensive on this opening leg, just to, just to kind of get a feel of it, and then maybe we can crank it up in the second half, or what. But, uh, and also, on the on the horizon, it is Manchester United, so we need to, we need to bear that in mind. So, I'm actually going to think about making a last-minute couple changes here. Uh, to a pause on the left. Let's give Flincher a go on the left, actually. 
Yeah, let's do it. Okay, up against uh, Southampton and Trincao. And I'll tell you now, spoiler alert, I've, I've got a bid. Well, bid's in. It's been accepted. Wait, wait. I've just delayed it for, for a little bit just to see how we go. He is El Capitano for Southampton as well. So this is this is a little a 67 million. You know, it's agreed. I just have to press the OK button. So this could be one of his last games for Southampton. All righty, let's take him on. Yeah, a bit nervous, uh, this one. Just, to, you know, possibility of getting to a cup final. Obviously, it is two legs. Armstrong with a thing in the and Chauvet is offside, so that won't count. Easy does it, boys. Easy does it. Fifteen minutes in, it's nil-nil. Dominating possession. Not many chances. It seems to be a bit of a midfield scrapperoo. The only chance really is gone for Southampton, despite our disallowed goal. 30 minutes on the clock. Get creative, I say to the boys. Get creative. Into the final 10. Anything? Anything, boys? Um, if it remains like this, which... I don't know what's going to happen here. Garcia back to Gasic. Chauve. Stalls. Bring to Everaldo. To Torreira. Goes on an amazing run. Fires it down line for Flintshire. Chase. Henrique. X Rover. Uh, dukes it out and beats him. Here comes Nikataya. X Rover. To Clark. Trincao. Oh my goodness. Showing the finesse and the skills that I hope to have at my club. Um, if I want to if I wanna spend a lot of money. Trincao scoring the goal. So, 1 0 down, boys. 1 0 down. We're going to we're gonna have to change it up in the second half. Second half gets underway. Wonder Kid for a Wonder Kid. Averson comes on for Everaldo. Is there anything in the tank? Here comes Palomino. Oh, gives it away to Nicotaya. De Jong. Moli. Enrique on the overlap. Whips across in, and there he is. Flipping. X Rover, Eddie Nikataya is making this a bit of an uphill struggle here, boys. I think if we can get one goal now, it would uh, it would make it plausible. And we're gonna we're gonna have to oh trink out oh, bloody hell. Taking a minute, taking a minute here. Rollhauser, oh, I'm strong. Lewis Kure is my goals, so he's coming on. A couple changes here. Just chucking everything out at the minute. Trying to find that elusive goal. Any chance we can we can make it a little bit interesting here, boys? Any chance? We've got it all to do in the second half, second leg or whatever. They scored two goals. We're going to have to go out there and score three at least. Flinch has picked up a niggle as well. Last chance for, for a possible highlight. A third goal would make this a monster. Oh, well, good. Torreira's picked his pocket over the top for Kure. Oh, get in there. That is valuable. That is massively valuable. An away goal. I don't know if that counts. Time for the season for, uh, for, for Luis Kure. Torreira with the danger ball over the top. Demand more. Is there time? I don't think there's time, but it it makes it a little bit more plausible and, and achievable. As long as we don't stinking let up here. Blocked. Torreira. Gasic. Come on, ref, blow up. I'm done. I'm done. I'm ready. I'm ready there, but we'll take it. We'll take it. It's a bit of a rough, rough ride, but uh, Trincao could be rover next time we see him. Okay, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do it the hard way to get to the final, and that means at least win at Ewood next. Okay, boys, I'm doing it. I am actually gonna go and sign this guy, throw him in the deep end. Um, he could make his debut against Manchester United, and that would be crazy. Sixty-seven million, a lot of money, but this boy is good. Okay, folks. Okay, folks. Here we go. The next game of this video, it is 
massive game in the old Premier League. Rovers up against Manchester United. Now we go into this in first spot. United are in fourth. A win for them could get them into second spot with that massive goal difference. Obviously, just picked up Trincao. Um, uh, we've played each other before we get into it. Uh, what is it? 20 times? We've won four, they've won 11. We've drawn five. I'll take, I would take a point, but... I'm thinking now's the chance, if any, to beat these boys. But uh, we're going to go with this formation. Just give me a minute while I rejig. See if we can get Trincao in the squad straight off the bat. Okay, folks, here we go with the starting line at Ryos in goal. Petrucha, Gasset, Chalve, and Ayala. Make the Nas Garcia white. Trincao does start on the right hand side. Rollhauser and Gunn. So it's quite an expensive uh, duo up here, anyway. Uh, and I'll be interesting to see how he gets on. In his first, I've been tracking him for absolute bonkers. Here's a closer look at the fella. Um, you know, amazing stats overall, double digits all over the place, as you would expect. Now, the reason that I kind of plumped for it now was I was going through the, I was looking, obviously, um, you know, it was transfer window, six month expiry limit. I was just having a look around to see who was available. But then I thought I'd just do a quick overview, see who the most expensive players are in the world. Now, obviously, the first bunch of them are at Paris Saint-Germain, Barcelona, uh, Man United, Real Madrid. And then the first name that came up that kind of stood out was this fella. He was, he was valued at 50 million. Uh, I had a look at him. He had the release clause of 60 odd. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna pluck for it. Now, his, his, his average ratings is what you're really going to look at. You know, he's on average of over seven point something a game. And, and I picked him from a Southampton team that are struggling for the drop. I probably could have gotten pretty cheap um, if I would have if I would have stuck at it and and waited to the end of the season. Um, but no, I thought I'd go for it now. He's been he's been at the English game for a whole long of it, a whole long time, so he knows what it, what to get uh, and what the what's required. And hopefully we turned him from a relegation t uh, team to a possible Premier League winning side. But anyway, that is uh, a little bit ahead of the game. Uh, Raya and Rollhouse are up against the old boys. Let's take them on. Okay, quick look at the Manchester United lineup. Caruso is outright top goal scorer in the division. Dalot is El Skipper. John Tarr and De Gea as well. Uh, it's, it's nervy, but we have what it takes to at least get something from this game. Quick high five by the two managers. I have no idea who manages Man United these days. Um, but this... If we can get a good result, oh my goodness, get rid of it. Rollhauser breaks down the right-hand side. He's got a man with him in the middle. But it goes for White, who strikes, and De Gea plucks that out of thin air. Well, she pushes it out for a corner. And Trincao's first involvement is an effort, which gun handballs. So an explosive start from one end to the other. Um, you will see, oh goodness gracious, it's an effort, free kick. Puts the woodwork and Raya scrambles to collect it. It's very, very nervy. Possession split down the middle. Chances split down the middle as well. We are a bit more nasty on the tackles. 25 minutes in. Let's uh, shout. Get, come on, boys. Get, get creative out there. Involve Trincao, who's obviously not the fittest uh, coming into this game. So I don't think he'll see out 90. Uh, white breaks for Rovers. It's loose ball. And here comes Man United. Gutschenko. Petucha picks up the loose ball. Uh, spots gun in the middle of the park to Maitland-Niles. Uh, Trincao is free. Get to him. Nice one. Nice space. This is what he does to you. This is what he does to you, boys and girls. Trincao debut goal. That's what... Those runs. Those are killer runs I've seen over the years. And a debut... He looks a bit heavy. Just... Forget about it. Puts his weight behind the ball. Smashes that home. And that's why I paid 60 odd million, folks. Garcia. Ooh, loose ball. Here comes Man United. Padilla White. Jonathan Tarr back to the... To, I don't know. They're, they're playing very deep within their own half. Here in Sewer. If we can get the ball off of them, we could probably pounce here. Nope. Here comes Man United. They escape it. And the Caruso has... Oh, he's pulled back. Oh, my goodness. At least he's... I think he saved, saved himself from a red card. But it is all square, boys. Amir Nukovic, seventh goal of the season. And Chave is living on the edge here. We're going to probably have to replace him because I can't I can't be going down at 10 men, boys. After such an explosive start from Trincao. Come on, let's get to halftime and we'll, we'll regroup. Halftime it is 1-1. Okay, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna carry on. 
uh, with this. I did make two defensive changes. I put make the Niles at right back. Uh, Torreira comes on for matey boy. Big save. Big save. Gasic clears his lines. Obviously, this is not perfect, but Chancey and a Petuccia gun whips a cross in. Garcia kind of scrambled, but oh my goodness gracious, they come United breaking. They've got bodies and numbers here. Oh my goodness, what a tackle. What a saving tackle. Lewis going on the other side now. Is there going to be anything in this? Garcia, Petuccia. No, there's not. No, there is not. Even Torreira's picked up a stinking yellow. There's going to be a red card in this. I can guarantee stinking tea at Torreira with the corner. Roll houses in there. De Gea has it. There's going to be another goal in this as well. I know it. Down the middle. Get rid of it. Dealt with. Posh, there's the red. I, I, I thought about Petuccia as well. I thought about um, taking them off, but... You know, roll. We're going to have to take Trincao, the sub off here, uh, and go with four at the back. I knew it. I knew it. Now we really got to hang tight. We've got to get creative a little bit here, boys. If we could find a flipping winner against 10 men United, that would be crazy. Rollhauser. Powerful run. Shinchenko keeps it going. Garcia. Shinchenko. There's numbers there. And he goes for the ambitious effort. 23 minutes to hang tight. Hang tight, boys. I'll take this now in this in this position. You, you, you've got to. But there could be more on the offering. Garcia flips it in there. Gets out. Back out to make the Niles. Deep ball. Lewis Gunn's efforts. Not cleared completely. And Man United will break free kick for Garcia to strike. We are pressing unbelievably to try and find a winner here. I don't, I don't get it. Uh, I'm not going to change it. I think a 1-1 draw with 10 men against United at this stage of the season would be an okay result. But there's still time here. And they've got a highlight to ride through. It's going to be a nervy bit. And it breaks for United. Colorusso. Is there, is there any way back? We're going to have to go all out. We're losing. Might as well go for it. Well, United always seem to have the better of us. Um, the only sort of caveat there is Trincao gets, gets off the mark on his debut, which will get the fans going. But that is a little disappointing. So after that set of matches, well, the table has been shaken up big time. Liverpool go top of the pops uh, on goal difference. Just the one goal in it, though. So it is tight. We are in second. Uh, Man City breathing down our necks. Two points clear. United are in fourth. Um, so that, my friends, is going to wrap up this one. Um, in the next episode, uh, we will be back straight away. Well, not straight away. We'll leapfrog the Bournemouth game back for the Southampton semi-final second leg. And then Liverpool in the cup. So a kind of a bit of change of pace. Back into the old cup atmosphere as there's a lot of interesting games coming up folks um with uh with a chelsea Bayern double header um, i'm not sure how we'll play that out we'll see how what goes on with the cups because that might separate these up but anyway hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did smash thumbs up if you're new smash subscribe back tomorrow same time same place more fm19 action to make rovers great again second it's doable boys thanks again for watching please like share and most importantly hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things blackburn rovers related championship related Football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope.